Welcome to the Confidence Conversation, hosted by Michelle Beatty. The Confidence Conversation is a series of rich dialogues and insights shared by a variety of professionals in different industries as they unpack their secrets to being confident while sharing the building blocks, career wisdom, and their entrepreneurial journeys. The Confidence Conversation is an expansion of the blog CareerTipper.com. Welcome back to the Confidence Conversation. I'm your host, Michelle Beatty, creator of CareerTipper.com. Episode 14 of the Confidence Conversation features Roger Lear. Roger is the president of OrlandoJobs.com and co-founder of GreatInsuranceJobs.com. OrlandoJobs.com is Central Florida's number one employment site that caters to over 1,200 companies seeking employees. OrlandoJobs.com is also the official website of the Central Florida Human Resource Association. GreatInsuranceJobs.com is the number one website nationally in the insurance industry and offers candidates a selection from over 5,000 current insurance openings. Roger is going to share his journey to being a respected leader and strong business partner in helping candidates connect with quality companies providing upward mobile employment opportunities. Roger, welcome to the Confidence Conversation. Great to be here, Michelle. (laughs) Thank you. Roger, what led you to co-founding GreatInsuranceJobs.com? Well, the journey began as the Internet actually was becoming something that people actually started to use. Uh, I started out in the executive search business, the headhunting business, which I still am in today. And as this internet thing came along and no one really knew what it was, uh, I met somebody that told me, they said, hey, you know this thing, the internet is going to replace the executive search consultant or the headhunter. And I said, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I hope that doesn't happen. I can't see that happening, but just in case, I will start a company uh, in the internet side of the job or start a job board. And and uh, being that our executive search firm was completely in the insurance industry, we started a company called Great Insurance Jobs um, and went live with that in 2001. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called, it's called uh, wondering, you know, uh, a lot of people, um, anybody that went through that period of time in when the internet first came on board and people were like saying, is that really going to work? What is this thing? What is happening? The folks that really knew that today the internet would be as strong as it would be, uh, that were preaching that we just, I was very lucky to meet some very talented people back then that said, uh, Hey, these are the types of things that are going to take place. And, um, uh, great insurance jobs is one of the, uh, you know, one of the things that we created out of that. That's very cool. Very, very cool. Why did you decide to start OrlandoJobs.com? Well, once we got into Great Insurance Shops started in 2001, and all along, that's a national site, and all along where our businesses are in Orlando, Florida, and the guy that had the domain name, OrlandoJobs.com, I met him at a networking event one day, and uh I kept asking him for the next couple of years, hey, if you ever want to sell that domain name, let me know. And uh, one day he called me out of the blue, and I was able to uh, uh, purchase that domain name from him. He ran that site, but uh, something something had, unfortunately, something with Tony took place that he had to sell it. And um, even though he sold it for quite a, quite a large, he, he did okay, let's put it that way, on the domain sale, but... Uh, we were able to take that and, and then create uh, OrlandoJobs.com kind of on the, um, since we already had about four years in the uh, job board business, it was kind of a natural fit. But what was interesting about Orlando was since it was in our backyard, we were able to do a lot more things from um, uh, to build that site, not only from an advertising and, and, and so forth, but we were able to actually meet so many, much, so many of our clients and job seekers um, by all the events and things that we, we end up doing. I do remember going to different community events and still going to community events and just seeing that bright orange um, sign, <laughs> orlandojobs.com, and just 
making the impact in the community, just having the conversation, encouraging people to become engaged with the um, site and just how personable your team is. Well, that's good to hear. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, the bright orange is, it's, uh, it's hard to get away with. And being a Florida State Seminole and my, one of my business partner, Scott's a uh, gator. It's being orange and blue in the, uh, Orlando jobs was a tough pill to start with. But, uh, no, it, it really does. It really helps our branding. It helps it stand out. Fabulous. Roger, you're you're very involved in the community sharing employment resources in different ways. What are a few outcomes that you aim to accomplish at each event? We do a variety of events in Central Florida, and we know that job seekers are everywhere, as well as employers are everywhere. So we'll do uh, job fairs. We'll do the typical uh, booths and, and meet a lot of the job seekers that way. But we also like to do uh, events like the downtown poor where there's a, uh, they close off streets in downtown and we'll have a booth there and we'll introduce people to Orlando jobs and things like that. Uh, We just like to be in so many areas that we know we can connect a job seeker to our resource because we know that there's a lot of jobs on our resource that they may be interested in that they won't ever be able to find anywhere else. And, and the only way we can do that is by getting out networking in the community, understanding that when we go to an event, the takeaway for us is getting job seekers involved with our website or, or get them to know that it even exists. But even more importantly, uh, we feel like we enjoy, we just enjoy meeting people and, uh, we're a website company, but I remind my staff all the time. I tell them, you know, uh, we're, re- we're not, we're really not a website company. We're a people company. And the only way we can be a people company is to actually go shake people's hands. And, uh, that's really what, you know, uh, that's really what the secret sauce is. And you have to do that outside the office. Well, I love that secret sauce. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, good stuff. It is good stuff. You have to connect with people. It, connection is everything. Like, it's great to have social media. It's great to post and like, but it's great to have that face to face, eyeball to eyeball interaction. Yeah, well, it's it's a com- complete competitive advantage. And we don't mind telling people what our, our, our what we do. We know because we know most companies won't won't do what we do because it, it, it takes a lot of a lot of bandwidth to be able to do it. How did you go about successfully establishing your HR partnerships locally and nationally? Well, that's uh, establishing HR partnerships and partnerships just in general with anybody that you want to do business with is really just identifying the need. Uh, of your partners of what the actual transaction will be. And you, it's a very sensitive issue with a lot of different organizations out there to be, uh, to align themselves with a employment for profit, I might add, uh, job board and be able to deliver what it is that they need in return. And, uh, the partnerships that we have are set up so they're win-win for both parties. For instance, um, with we have a local partnership with the local Human Resource Association, Go Sherm, and not only do we give their members discounts and things like that on our site, but we power their HR section and job section on their website. And uh, they would, and it's mobile friendly. They would never be able to have that type of technology over there without a big cost. And as a matter of fact, it doesn't cost them anything to do any of that stuff. But the, they they have a, an outstanding uh, a website with HR and recruiting jobs and stuff like that are very very uh, st- st- things <laughs> distinct to their to their organization. So uh, with national partners, it's even, it's, it's even more tricky. But the bottom line with partnerships is, you know, they want to be in the most partners of ours don't have time to take care of the career side of their association. They have membership and they they usually do 
whatever it is that they're doing. For instance, uh, the the uh, Workers' Comp Institute on our great insurance side, they, they do everything under the sun for Workers' Comp, but they don't deal with people's careers. They don't have time to do that. So we can fill that void for them and not only provide the technology, but provide a lot of information on, on the job markets and things like that that they require. Fabulous. What are a few confidence-boosting tips that you've seen candidates have success in while interviewing? Yes, uh, great, great question. The number one confidence-boosting tip that I have seen is I tell job seekers all the time, don't listen to your family, your neighbors, and your friends on how you should be interviewing, and don't go to the Internet and inter- and look at interview questions and try to program yourself to answer them. You need to go into an interview with one thing in mind, understanding what the job is that is available that you're interviewing for and how your skill sets relate directly to that job and directly to the bottom line. If you understand what that is, you will never have a problem interviewing. And if you practice anything in an interview situation, it is to identify the skill sets you bring to the job that's there and exactly what it means if you're an A player, what that means to the bottom line profitability of the company that you're working for. And when I say profitability, this goes from nonprofits to for-profit companies. Most individuals answer questions with a blank stare in their face. And uh, if you have the skill sets that match the job you're interviewing for, you're going to do very well by bringing out all those skills and tie them directly, directly to the bottom line of the company. And uh, uh, what I, what I, uh, what I would also tell a job seeker is, and you know, to to gain confidence in an interview is to be able to talk normally sit up straight, talk normally to the interviewee because they want to have that same conversation with you. There is no wall between you two, you know, between the interviewer and, and, and so forth. No matter what they ask you, no matter what they do, your enthusiasm that you speak with because you know that your skill sets are good for the job, that's, that's what happens. Most candidates cannot answer the easiest questions in the interview process. Uh, when it comes to jobs, and and uh, uh, I don't know if you've 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 seen that, Michelle, but the uh, you ask them a question, and one of my favorite interview questions of all time, or tell me about a, a project that you did at your last job, what it was, what the final result was, and what could you have done better. And when I ask that question, and I could ask it to anybody in any job out there. And they won't be, I get probably 80% of the time get a, not a blank stare, but just a, it confuses them. They're not sure what they should be saying. And the bottom line is, is you have a skill set. You've been able to perform it. What was that p- performance like? How, where did it get you? And uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and what could you have done better? And I'm going to tell you, the people that can answer that question, it really is the, the, uh, usually the better candidate. So that help. Yes. And I totally agree. How do you accomplish being fully present in your personal life and not letting work impede that time? Well, <clears throat> well, you have to have a very understanding family, first of all. And secondly, it's, it is the, for any, anybody that runs businesses and is involved in the community, it's, virtually impossible to time manage properly and without letting somebody down, whether it's your family, whether it's an, uh, a board that you sit on, whether it's uh, an employee event, whether it's a, a business meeting, whether it's, uh, you know, just taking time off to go to the beach. And I find that one of the most challenging things in my life. Um, and as I've gotten older, the way I have been able to uh, walk away from uh, business 
or walk away from uh, freeing up some time to to attend school events with the kids or or uh, go to a a function at at at, at some uh, event that we go to or whatever the case might be is to realize the stuff that's on my desk presently will probably be there the next day and I'll just have to pick it up then unless it's something that's completely, completely urgent. And there's just never a time where there won't be any work on the desk. And, uh, and before it was just like, I got to get this done, got to get this done. And now it's just like, uh, all right, well, I'm going to prioritize a little bit better. And then, uh, I'm going to do some of these other things and, and, Believe it or not, it all works out somehow. I don't know how, but it does. <laughs> it does. But I thank you for sharing that perspective because I think professionals need to be reminded of that sometimes or just need to hear it. You know, it just could be that aha moment in that moment for those who might listen. Yeah. So, so that's it's, awesome. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's awkward, but I can, I can tell you there is no answer to that question with um, – is with business owners just because you do have a lot of things that you have to deal with, not only employees and, and all other stuff, but um, you're going to miss things. It's, it's, it's virtually impossible not to do it. And thankfully technology has, has cleared up a lot of things, you know, with uh, being able to control a lot of stuff from your phones these days, you know, uh, where, where years ago you couldn't do any of that stuff. You had to be sitting in an office. So, the progression of business operations. Yeah, yeah. Truly. What professional lesson would you repeat that made you a better and sharper professional today? Training, training and training. And then, uh, talk and training with people that have been there, done that. That's, it's that simple. There are too many consultants and professionals that have never, ever, ever, been in your situation, not only as a business owner, but as a recruiter, as a job board owner and so forth. So you have to surround yourself with professionals. I get called and I, I use this analogy all the time because it's the greatest analogy in the world to me is I get called by a stockbroker who wants to sell me a stock on the tele telephone. And I'll say to him, I'll say, Hey, tell me about, do you have a million dollar portfolio yourself personally in the marketplace. And will you share that with me? And nine out of 10 of them will say, absolutely not. And, uh, or I won't share it with you or I don't or, and so forth. And my question always is, is, well, why is that? Because if you are so good at what you do, why don't you invest in the things you talk about? Bad advice will put you, put you backwards. And, um, it's, it's so true in business, you know, you have to seek out very, very professional individuals that are in your, in do exactly what you do that have a proven track record of success. And those are the folks that you want to meet, meet and talk to. And those are also the same people that if you call them on the phone out of the blue and you tell them what you're up to, not only will they usually bend over backwards for you. But uh, you'll create a tremendous friendship and bond because uh, a lot of people do like to, to help others, especially successful people. No question about it. Great advice. Love it. Love it. Do you have a favorite candidate or employer story that keeps you motivated and adding value to the employment industry? <laughs> that's a loaded question. Oh, that's a loaded question. No, you know... Um, no, you know, I, I, uh, we just did a, uh, my, my favorite thing in the world is, is being original and trying to do fit, fit individuals that may not have the perfect background into a job and that they could never get on their own and watching them become very successful, uh, because somebody believed in what, what myself or someone in my organization presented as in form of a person. And, and we really like to watch that. Uh, we just had a really good example that we did a, uh, an, a veterans job fair a couple weeks ago. And um, it was actually for homeless veterans as, um, as well as regular veterans. We had over 21 
homeless veterans attend, and we worked with all the different facilities in town and whatnot, and uh, Kelly Services hired one of the homeless vets on a part-time, and I'm going to tell you, you know, uh, that's what keeps us going. Those, those are the types of stories that are just phenomenal because uh, there's a lot of great people out there that are unemployed, underemployed, or don't understand how to get full employment uh, for many reasons, and it's usually not skill set or desire. It's just the the communication to the employer and all those hoops they have to jump through to get those those jobs. And I think it, when uh, when myself or people in my organization can help through those hoops and make the connection, that is a that's what keeps us going for sure. That's a great share. That's a really great it share. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yep. it is. That's the deal. <laughs> that's a great share. Thank you. How do you incorporate healthy choices into your day? The thing about health is that's all you have in life is your health. You know, if you lose your health, you don't have anything. Money, nothing, success. There's no, no, uh, nothing replaces a healthy body. And, and for people that, uh, for anybody, but stress is an absolute killer. And for, for me, the only stress release I have is by activity. And, uh, so we do a couple of things. So we do, a uh, we try to get a, each week we do a walk at, from an off. We take the whole company. We do a couple mile walk in, in the middle of the day to break up the day. And, uh, that always is kind of fun, but, we do. Uh, we have a basketball league. We do a lot of corporate five Ks and things like that at this at, at our office. Personally, I you know I you know uh, play on uh, a couple different in a couple different basketball leagues, and uh, just ended up running my first half marathon this year. So and that was a, that was pretty fun. Congratulations! I don't know if I'll do it again, but, yeah, I'll do it, again, but it was uh, that was a lot of fun. But uh, but they all you know any anything that's uh, allows you to, um, you know, get a, work up a little bit of a sweat, and uh, and most of the things are somewhat competitive still as well. But uh, it really does help with the stress, and stress is stress, in my opinion, is the is the one thing that uh, is not only very unhealthy, but it is it is the one thing that can make you underperform because uh, working, you know, work is work, and you get a, it's hard to separate. We really, everybody gets so wound up, and uh, at the end, of, at, well, at the end of the day, um, it's it's uh, if you can control, understand that most of the stress that you have isn't even isn't even real. It's made up in your own mind. You can uh, you kind of get through a lot of these things, and exercise is really uh, the way I do it. So that's how that goes. Okay. Roger, what's next for OrlandoJobs.com and GreatInsuranceJobs.com? Well, the greatest news for those websites are we are going through a major change in the way people get jobs these days. And technology is going to always be king, and it's how job seekers use and find that technology. Right now, the number one job website in the world is Indeed.com. And... um, it has every theoretically every job that you could ever possibly find, and, and candidates have a really good time going over there and, and figuring that out. And uh, what we have to do as an organization is understand that we'll never be able to compete with Indeed.com. We will be our own job board like we've always been, and not only will we be more prevalent in the communities that we serve and the niches that we serve, we will own those niches and have unique and Google-proof type jobs, meaning if you don't go to Orlando Jobs or Great Insurance Jobs, you'll be missing out on jobs that the Indeeds and these monster sites will never get because they don't have the customer service or the uh, ability to serve a marketplace. They can just broadcast everything and hope something falls in. We'll have jobs, which we've always done anyway from the beginning um, of time, and that's really what our our secret sauce are. We we have more natural job postings than 
I think most any company out there, any job board out there uh, for, for our niches. And uh, we're very excited to take that to the next level. Uh, the other thing, too, is, is just to make it even, we're very mobile friendly now, but we're even going to take it up even a better notch and, and then have our dream job application app where uh, a job seeker will be able to put in a very specific, I would like to be a uh, graphic designer in downtown Orlando making $80,000 a year if this job ever comes up please get me that job and their phone if that job ever gets posted on our site it'll light up their phone like a christmas tree and um it'll it'll be the dream job that they've been looking for and they'll have the first crack at it because they'll be the one that gets its purse up so a lot of a lot of fun things coming up uh but at the end of the day it really is being a authority in your niche in Orlando, it's Orlando jobs in the insurance industry. It's insurance. Uh, we we're going to be opening up Miami jobs this year. MiamiJobs.com. We we're over in Tampa and Jacksonville already, and uh, we're very very excited about uh, you know the growth of what we're trying to ascertain. So it's exciting. Yes, it is exciting, and congratulations for all the amazing growth. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's stressful, <laughs> but hey, there's a basketball game out there. So, so it's what? worthy work. It is definitely worthy work. That is just, I I think it's awesome. So that's what we got. <laughs> that's what we got. Very cool. Roger, I appreciate you joining the Confidence Conversation. Thank you. And I want to end this episode of the Confidence Conversation with this affirmation. Life is too short not to take time to connect and know your calling. Enjoy the journey of crafting your mark within the world. Roger, please share how listeners can get in touch with you. It's very simple. They can email me at roger at orlandojobs.com. R-O-G-E-R. So there we go. That's the best way. Okay, awesome. And you can find me, Michelle Beatty, at careertipper.com and on Instagram at careertipper. Listeners, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Confidence Conversation. We are grateful for our listeners and guests. For more career confidence motivation, resources, and to share your comments and feedback about this episode and share future guest suggestions, visit careertipper.com. Until next time, be career confident.